Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wire You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding in the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the curb. Why this telling exactly what we going through? Our people being on the streets, on the corners doing that. I say, oh, this the truth right here. So I gotta worship the Heavenly Father the best way, because He's showing me the predicament my people in, because I care about my people. That's right. Like, if I, like but both of them, John, happened to him. We care about here. We was out here. But if I wouldn't believe in it, what the Lord said, do how you supposed to love your neighbor, I wouldn't have been out here. So it gave me a whole different face um, perspective that I come from nobility and we gotta love each other, because that's what's missing. Because it says, because the love of many shall um, iniquity, because iniquity may abound, the love of many shall wax cold. What, what, what is the so that's why I believe. You said what? What does that mean, though? In iniquity. The original, in the original language. Iniquity, basically, continual sin, living in a life of soul. When you look at the text, and I'm not trying to be okay, argumentative, when you look at the text, mm -hmm. it's written in something called the Eros tense in the indicative mood. Okay. What that means is it indicates an ongoing action. Okay. The iniquity was caused because of the fall of man okay. in the garden. And okay, yeah, that, yeah. that's a cyclical effect on, on and the on, I got you on, on, on that lineage, yeah. So when Christ came, mm -hmm. He died for the remission of sins. He's the propitiator of sins. Yes, yes. And he became sin on behalf of mankind. And well, as a result of that, as a result of that, because he died on the cross for you and I, he was not murdered. He died willingly yeah, in yeah. of himself. For sure, like because seabird. of the simple fact that he came for us, yes. now we have a right to the tree of life. Okay, I believe yeah, that right. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Yes. And I believe that he sits at the power seat of the Father. Yes, right. you believe that, that, so? that right now, mm -hmm. beyond the shadow of a doubt, when he says what he says, it's the Holy Spirit that resides in me That's right. that allows me to come to talk to Jesus. And he talks on behalf to the Father for all of us because I believe in the triune God. Okay, we'll, we might have a different that's what, as far as that's, that's where I was going. Because most people... Uh, who have a different sect of, of faith understand that Christianity is not a religion, it's a relationship. The relationship well, I mean, is a bond between God and man, and Jesus puts that bond together. Okay. And as the relationship is bonded, just like me and you are bonded because we got the same color skin, if you get cut, I get cut, it's going to be blood, it's going to be red. But when it's all said and done, I'm covered because of the simple fact Jesus died for my sins. That's my belief. And I won't argue with you Can I say something right quick on something you just said? I believe, but I believe we got a bond because we came from the same forefather, not because we're the same color. Because the Bible deal with project. It deal with a I'm, just, I'm talking about the anatomy. No, it's so called. I yeah, got I'm you. About right. the anatomy. Right. Yeah. But yeah, but did you say what we Y'all are believing in the same thing. Well, in the sense, he yeah, has a different sect on the triune God. Mm -hmm. Because I believe in the, in the, in the Father, the Holy Spirit. He says they may have a different Yeah, but the different I don't believe like most people that believe in the triumph God, they believe is one energy and three three three, three beings, sources. three sources pulling from that one energy. I don't believe it. I believe the Father gave he created the Son and He gave the Son dominion to create everything else. But the Father above uh, all. That's what the Bible even Christ said the true living God is the Father. So that's why I go. But that's why we got a difference in things in that. What Bible Most the, well, most, in the most, ancient manuscripts, most people believe, 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 they believe in Yeah, but we go to the ancient version. version. But, Hold on. But, we don't believe just in the King Okay, King. but the Septuagint version tells you something so and, and bro, let, let, let me read the verse. Let me read the verse. This is uh, the okay. Yeah, this is John chapter 17, verse 2. As thou hast for yeah, right now, what version you read? This the King James, but we read into the Greek and the Hebrew and what it was written in to get a true understanding. We do comparative translations. Right. You can't just take the English for, for face value. I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah, I showed this like this the King James. Something. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was like, yeah. it, my mom would have been through a lot, man. Yeah. 
This is John, John 17, verse 2. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give, it, give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is a this is life eternal. This is life eternal, good. That they might know thee, uh -huh. the uh, the only true God. The only true God, go ahead. And Jesus Christ. And Jesus, he's putting the distinction between them two, God. Whom thou hast sent. Whom thou hast sent. So that's why we dif differentiate with that. You read the afterwards, I just made it be the same book. Okay. Because you chose John. Okay. Okay. John is different than Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Okay. Because John comes from something that's different than the synoptic gospels. The synoptic gospels are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Okay. Sin comes from with or being. Optic comes from the Greek word and the Latin word means to see, which means we see things the same. Synoptic. John is different. Okay. He walked with Jesus. He was Matthew walked with Jesus. He, hold on. He's the same one who laid his head on the breastplate of Jesus. You got 12 disciples that walked with him as names, mm -hmm. but hundreds of others who yeah, came. But John is different. You told John, so I'm going to use John. Okay. John 1 and 1, in every verse. Hold on, can we deal with that verse, though? No, hold, yeah, we gonna, you got to give me an exegesis. We're we going to deal with this when we deal with the verse. Hold on, hold on, though. Hold on, we're going to deal with can John I say 17 something? by dealing with John 1. But no, hold no, on. hold on. Hold Let on. me see. I'm going to give you, you a translation. You, can, you, gotta you gotta go to school before you go to church. But no, you gotta give me a break. You gotta give me an exegesis I'm, I'm, on it. Give you the exegesis. All right, give me the exegesis. The exegesis doesn't come from that verse. The okay. exegesis comes from verse one. Okay. John chapter one, verse one says, "In the beginning was the word." The Who's, word. Hold on, was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who the word? No, bro, this ain't your show. No, this ain't your show. Let him break it down. I'm taking the show. All right, yeah. Because he he runs the show. Here's the deal. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. Any version you look at, the W is capitalized. That means it is a proper noun. He represents the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He's introduced in the Old Testament before he even shows up in the flesh in the New Testament. And then he says before John 17 that guess what's going to happen? I'm going to leave you a comforter. Hold on, you're going too far. Hold on, hold on, man. You ain't finna come on. This man ain't giving the whole truth. Man, you gotta get your own and question. The Holy Spirit. Well, that man. He, he is the Holy Can Spirit. Can I ask you a question? He, he going on the is diatribe, just as man. powerful as is the Son. Hey, you're not finna. Hey, can I ask you a question? Is the can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Can you break? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now break down John 17. And so because of that, the camera for me. Oh, I thought the camera was right here. Are you trying to talk to me? You got. You can't go on the diatribe. Right. But you gotta give me an exegesis. Go ahead. I know Dr. Hey, 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 you know I got to do it, baby. Hey. You gotta give me, you gotta give me an exegesis. You gotta give me an exegesis on John 17. Give it to me, Doc. You you gotta give it to me. Give it to me, Doc. I'm gonna read it again. I'm gonna I know the text. You break it down. Exegesis. You know what exegesis is? Exegesis is the meaning of the text. The okay, give me the culture is the back. This is John. Give it to me then. This is John 17, verse 2 through 3. As thou hast given him power. Who gave you power? My job. Who is the thou? Who is it? I'm asking him. He's well, you you got to give exegesis. He's reading the text. Oh, as thou, as, uh, as thou has, no, I'm, I'm actually talking to him. As thou has given him power over all flesh, uh -huh. that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has received him. Mm -hmm. So guess and, what? Stop right there. Because you're going to the next verse. Okay, there's a transition in the verse between two and three. Here's what that looks like. The A part, yeah, the A part of the text, mm -hmm. I already know. The A part of the text is telling us the thou is God. He is Jesus Christ. When you look at John 1, the exegesis says they are all one. Hold on, hold on, hold on though. It's the same word for God, hold on. It's the same word for God, it's Dios, the same word. Is, is Christ ever called Theon in it's the Bible? Theo is theology. God, the okay, the what's the word for God? God? What's the word for God in the so-called New Testament? It's, so, it's really coming from something called a theogrammaton. Okay, but what is called? What, it's a four, it's a when we look into, word. hold on, when we look into that word, okay, when we look into that, when we look in, it's, so Yahweh in the New Testament. 
Yahweh is in the oh, he's transcendent. He says, I'm the same before, I'm the same now, I'm the same after. Okay, though. He said, I didn't come to destroy the law. Mm -hmm. I came to fulfill the law. Okay, what that means? Because mean? of the fulfillment. Hold on, hold on, man. Jesus, you going on a die trial. No, hold I'm on. Not, I'm asking wait. you one question. It's a holy test. You, go, you sound like a, somebody just got out of jail giving no. me a um, scoop. Listen to <laughs> what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Theos, hold on. It's Theos. Hold on. I'm asking you something. I'm trying to get you out of Give me the answers then. Listen. It's Theos, who all call Theos in the New Testament. The it's New only Testament. the most. Is it only the the most? Is it only the Most High, the Son, and the um in the Holy Spirit? Who all call Theos? It's only one God. Hold on. Who all call Theos? Ain't ain't God the ain't Theos the word for God in the New Testament? Ain't Christ called Theos? Who else called Theos in the from New Testament? Who else? You gonna talk about? Go. Talk? It's Theos. Theos is a different translation than Theos. Who called it? God Himself. Theos comes from the root word meaning of or origin incomplete of any other understanding. Okay, who else who else is called Theos? The only person that's called Theos is God. Alright, give me some, give me on um, second. Give me um, on hold on, hold on. No, no, bro. No, 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 You're gonna no, put your no, foot no, in your mouth. No, no, right. Give me the give me a God person, of this word. The only person on, who is referred to as Theos You're gonna get cut. in the text. John 10. Let's see it. John 10. We finna go in John 10. The thief um, the come God of this word. Hold on, bro. We finna get into something. John 10. You finna put your foot in your mouth. No, I'm not. You already have. Oh, wow. Already know. He finna get cut. Talk to him. He just lied. The thing is, bro. Hold on, bro. Give me the scripture. Give me the scripture. You I'm finna cut him with this. But I gotta hear. Come on, God of this word. You All right, give me that, bro. Give me you John 10 and You flip it, but I got it right here. This is John 10, verse 34. Yeah, remember, remember he said the only people called Theos in the New Testament is the, the Most High God. Go ahead. I didn't say that. Who you else? Who? Who? No, that's who? That's what you just said. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's clarify. Who I called Theos? You All right, I'm asking you. Who I called? Hold on, I'm asking him. Hold on, I'm asking him something. Answer the question. Who I called Theos in the New Testament? There's two people referred to in the text. Who? When the writer is writing, John is referring to Jesus Christ, uh -huh. and he's referring to the Father. Okay, so you say two people. So you say them, them two. Who else? I and my Father are one. He says, I will leave you my Bro, oh, this, 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 this man can't answer a simple question. I just answered the question. Okay, you just said them two. This is John 10, verse 38. Bring it out! But if I do... Come on, John. I got you. But if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this... This is okay. I got you, John 10, verse 34. Why is he gonna get cut? Jesus answered them. Who are we talking to? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus answered them. Jesus answered him. Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are God. Why the Pharisees call God? Sorry, Israelites call God. Theos. Oh my God. Read the Read the Read the Right here. The word for God is Theos. Theos. It's what? Theos. The word for God. I've already said It's Theos. So Israel. So it. So. Hold on, so God, the word Theos is not just um, only for the Father and the Son, right? In the New Testament, right? The Theos, is, if you really want to be technical about mm -hmm. it in the Latin, there are 13 different meanings for Theos. Okay. You look it up. Okay. If you really did want to be technical, you know that? Did it's 13. What's the point, though? It's 13. Hold on. What's the point, though? The point is what I said earlier. It's one God and three uh -huh. persons. The Father, the Son. Okay. The Holy Spirit. Who do you worship? We, okay. we, we will on, not on. deviate from that. Do Christ got a question? I've stayed right. in that lane. Hold on, I got a question. I want everybody to get I got a question though. Please share this. I got a question. Yeah. Does God, does the most high God have a God? The most high God is God. Do we have a God? Oh, that ain't the question. He's God. Do we have a God? Jesus, Jesus. See this man, he don't want to answer. Is he, Jesus is no one, Jesus this is a different Jesus question. I said, do we have a God? Do the Jesus most high God? Okay, that's cool. Does the Most High God have a God? Does the Most High God have a God? Okay, so now I want him to answer this. Y'all answering it, but what you? Does he have a God? Yes or no? He's asking you a yes or no. I'm asking you a yes or no question. I can't. I can't. I can't talk. Why don't I argue? You gonna give me the answer? You going on the die trial? Everything is not a non-rhetorical response. Listen, does the Most High God have a God? All right. Does the Most High God have a God? First of all, I believe. And I want to say this for the record, okay? I want to say this. I believe 
is not many gods, but one God. Okay? Many gods There's only one God. Give me God's God. many. There's only one God. He is the most high God. <laughs> from him comes Let's see. the Son. Let's see if the Bible and from the Son God. comes through the Holy Spirit. Let's see if this the Bible. That's it. First Corinthians Anytime 85. you got the hope to God, that means okay. that you serve the Bible God. Give me Revelation 4. Let's cut this down. You ain't done it yet. Watch this. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 5. Bring it out. For though, for though there be that are called God. Called God. Go ahead. Read it. Read it. 1 Corinthians 8 and 5. Go ahead. For though there be that are called God. Called what? Called God. Called God. Go ahead. Whether in heaven or in earth. On earth. Go ahead. As there be God's many. There be what? God's meaning. Why the Bible? Hold on, she's, she's shaking her head to the Bible. Read it again. Do you, mean, you know what that even means? Read it oh, again. Man. You take it says, a scripture and you For trying, though you, there be that are called gods. That be called what? Hold on. Gods. I'm gonna you ain't talk. talking no more. Give me God. No, no. Give me that. This is Revelation. This is Revelation 3, verse 12. That's the damn thing. That's why you upset. Damn Kurt Franklin, man. That's why you upset. This is Revelation 3, verse 12. Hey, that's why you upset. Revelation 3, verse 12. You ain't got it. Him that overcometh. We know what? Him that. Damn Kevin Hart don't overcome. Him that overcometh. Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God? Make a temple in what, God? Make a temple in my God. So why say Christ got a God if the Heavenly Father ain't got a God? Cut to the heart. Here's what I'm saying. What's the breakdown there? What's the break? Give me the exegesis. Let me, let me finish. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Verse 12 again. Him that overcome it, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. You a side and one he, you're a damn joke, Kevin Hart. By the way, I loved your last movie. It was you know great. Guess right? what? You and Wesley Snipes did your damn thing. Let me, let me, let me tell you this, God. When you, when you, it says, I will write upon him the name of my God. And the name of, of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. New what? New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. All right, so the most high God, is he how he got a God? Go ahead, give me that. Is he in charge? Give me that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 110. Go ahead. Are you following this The first verse. You a sidewalk with me. It says, yeah. the Lord. You don't even know you're what you're talking about. Give me that. Go you don't even know what you're talking about, Doc. Give me some. Give me some. You know what? That's why they said the same thing about the prophets, though. They said the same thing about the prophets. But you do like the Pharisees, bro. You exactly what the Pharisees are saying. Because you don't have the Bible in your mind. I'm talking about the Bible. You reduced it. Because of that, I walk away with respect. Because I'm not going to denounce you, man. But you're talking about you respect brothers. I haven't insulted you. Hold on, fam. Hold on. Hold on, fam. No, no. Hold on. Listen. Listen real quick. Because you said so. You said you got the Bible written on you, right? You said you got the Bible written on you, right? Yeah, but I'm asking him a question. He's been talking for 15 minutes. He's been talking. Turn around and say this. Right. Bro, so answer the question. You got the Bible written on your heart, right? Here's what I'm going to do. Yes or no? You can't answer a yes or no question. No, he can't, bro. He can't answer yes, yes or no. no. This man's it's a damn Yes soft. or no. It's simple. It's, it's never a yes or no answer. Answer it. Yes or no. Oh you got the Bible written on your heart? Finish. Give me that. Exactly. exactly. The answer is no. You just don't want to say it. Bog the hell out. We're going to cut you again. You know what? You don't need the mic. You don't need the mic. You don't need the mic. Hey, you don't need the mic. You know what? Here's the thing I'm going to say. I'm going to say this before I leave. God the Father, my Lord, Lord said God unto his Son, Lord, go ahead. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at my right hand. Go, go, go believe in your Trinity, you drink your damn 40s, man. You know what? I'll see you on the other side of the brook. It said, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at my right hand. You're a damn joke, man. Earl Boyd can tell out of here. Bro, and like, bro, you a Pharisee, bro. Look That's what it boils down to. You and all your Christian constituents are all Pharisees. That's bro. right. Y'all yeah. think y'all know more than y'all want these fancy seminary schools, bro? Right. And but y'all get confounded by this. Y'all can't answer one question. Yes he asked you no. a simple question like, "What? What does Theos mean?" Yeah. Oh, it's like thirteen yeah, 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 different yeah, yeah, yeah. words for Theos, <laughs> nigga. Bro, it's yeah. very simple, bro. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it's either Theos or Theon. Which one is it, bro? Whole you gotta give a whole damn Donald Trump and say nothing at the end yeah. to, and then get hyped up by your family. Yeah. Of course, of course. 
Damn, the suckers play in the NBA, his son think he good. Put <laughs> 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 that in And that info, God, that, does he want to call us sidebar comedians? That's the same thing y'all niggas did to the prophets. That's the same thing y'all did to the disciples. Y'all proved the Bible to be true. Every time we deal with you niggas. You can mock these niggas. I can't, I, I can't, I, one thing I can't stand is a lying ass Christian pastor who can't answer a yes or no question. Right, right. Y'all are scattering the sheep. Right, right. Go ahead. Like I said, if he was dealing. Even the people, you see, the um, the damn commissions had more decorum than him. Right. I can at least talk to them when I brought something out. Oh, okay. That, that's sad. You that's know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Bro. So I'm not going to deal with that. I I got, I, we let the guy talk. Then he started running. And he started doing diatribe. Bro, I'm not going to show him no no type of respect no more. All he's trying to do is talk to the camera, scream loud, and act like he did something. All right. right. Yeah. Man, man, Jeremiah thir uh, 23 and 1. Yeah, yeah. Woe be unto the pastors. Yeah, woe be unto the pastors, you know. That destroy and scatter the sheep. Yeah, he destroy and scatter the sheep. He talking about Christ die for all mankind. I would have, I should have just cut him on that, man. Give me, um, give me Luke one and sixty eight. He can't even do it with one topic. He can't even do it with one topic. Oh, this man go everywhere, bro. This is the book of Saint Luke, chapter one, verse sixty eight. Bring it up. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Yeah, the Lord God of Israel, not the Lord God of all mankind. Cut to the heart, man. Give me that. It said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he have visited and redeemed his people. He redeemed his people. And who the Bible say the Lord people is? What's up with it, bro? You doing all right? I know, huh? That's a blessing, man. You all to thank the most high. You still breathing, man. The show could be different, all right? So you got to repent. Know you're an Israelite, all right? Give me that. Matthew 2 and 6. Let's see who the Lord. Uh, basically, that's it. That's it on there. What's up with it, bro? You doing all right, bro? What up, my fuck? What you going to go chill or nothing? Hey, know you an Israelite. Know you the chosen, bro. All right? You a king on earth. This is Matthew. Hey, remember that, all right? This is Matthew 2, verse 6. Uh -huh. And thou Bethlehem uh -huh. and the land of Judah are not the least among the princes What's of Judah. What's up with it, man? You doing all right? What you got? Let me show you something. Come here. You got two. <laughs> For out of thee shall come a governor <laughs> that shall rule my people Israel. Shall rule who? My people Israel. Yeah, his people Israel. So that governor... That's the that's that's what we would call Yahweh Shah. Then he came here. What do you say? Yahushua. 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 Something like that. What's that, up with it, bro? What you believe in? Uh, Yahweh Shah. Yahushua. 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 The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Bring it out. He that believeth in the Lord. Yeah, like you said, you believe in the Lord, right? Go ahead. You kind of like 50 cent a little bit. Go ahead. <laughs> he that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. Yeah, you got to take heed to the commandments. So you can just say you believe in them, but it's a certain a certain faction, a certain... Oh, uh, what up, foot? What's up, man? What up with it, bro? Man, man on, me and Boo were just talking about you the oh, other day, bro. Yeah, yeah, Good to see you out here. You got the same number? Yeah, hit me up. All right, man, I'm going to hit you up, yeah, bro. Yeah. I grew up with Hey, what? Hey, look, bro, you, you got to believe on the Lord, repent, and be converted, all right? Know you're an Israelite. You're the chosen on earth, all right? That's right. Listen to your parents. Listen to your... Worship the Most High and listen to your parents, man. All right? You're going to get far in life. Same thing. Same thing. What, you want Matthew 2 and verse 6? Yeah, you can read that. This is Matthew 2, verse 6. And thou Bethlehem and the land of Judah mm -hmm. are not the least among the princes of Judah. Go ahead. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Hey, what's up with it, bro? You know who Christ died for? Huh? You don't know Dan Williams, man? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Let's keep reading. Verse 7. What you on? You, you on? What you do? A little barbecue or something? Yes, sir. Smoking ready. Okay. How long you been doing this? I've been cooking for about 30-something years. About 30-something years. Yeah. Let me show you. Can I show you something right before you go? Yes, sir. Um, give me um, 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Let me show you what the Lord command our people are. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know, that's how this is going to make your business flourish even more. You got to have this foundation of the Lord. That's what we are here teaching our people. Right here. 2 and 19. It's the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Go ahead. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. the foundation of God standeth sure. Yeah, the foundation of God standeth sure. Everything else is going to crumble down at the end of the day. But the foundation of God stand up sure. Watch this. 
having this seal, Go ahead. the Lord knoweth them that are his. Yeah, the Lord knows them that are his. So he know if you're doing right, and he know if you're doing wicked. So you gotta know in your heart, like now, if I ain't doing, if you ain't doing the right thing, you gotta repent, come back to the commandments, and do what you're supposed to do. Because the Lord knows. You can't hide nothing from him. Watch this. It says, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Go ahead. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ, the name of Christ, go ahead. depart from iniquity. Yeah, you got to depart from iniquity. So that's what we're teaching our people out here to depart from iniquity and have that foundation of Christ. You know? So we got to know you an Israelite, start learning these commandments one day at a time. It ain't too late yet. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, you still here. So the Lord, you still got a chance. But you got, it's something you got to do to even make yourself get that chance. And that's believe on the Lord. Keep the commandments to your best ability and have faith in the Son. Know where you come from. It, it don't matter what you did in the past. Give me Acts 13 and 38. Because what you did in the past, it's something you ain't know. That's why Christ came and died. You can have that chance again. So right now, through the Spirit, He's giving you a chance right now. Watch this. Acts chapter 13, verse 38. And by Him, all that believe are justified from all things. Go ahead. From which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Yeah, so it's certain things we did before we came into this truth that was worthy of death. If you want to be technical, but since Christ came and died for us, he gave us that chance to learn, okay, that was wrong what I was doing, let me get on the right path. But back in the day, before he came, it could have been death. You know what I'm saying? It depended on the mercy that the Lord showed. So now he gave mercy by sending who the world called Christ to die for our sins, the Israelites, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. Now it's time for us to get right and get on the right track, man. No matter what age you is, you got to come back and get right, man. That's right, man. All right, know you're an Israelite. That's right, man. All right, yeah, love the Lord. Keep his commandments, man. All right, with that, I want to... All right. With that, I want to say Shalom. Shalom.